Welcome back to the small wood shop. I'm Joe, and I've been in Florida for a couple months, and when I got back, I just had to do something here in the wood shop. So I made a couple tea boxes. Uh, mahogany and maple, mahogany trim, and we put a stone up top, uh, poxy it in place. Never had one come off yet. Uh, what I do, I take them over to the belt sander and hold them on there for 20 seconds to get them scuffed on the bottom. We have brass hinge uh, made of a pin, brass pin 3 16 and the sides here, we hold in place, we epoxy some brass pins down through. Uh, the inside is cherry dividers, and I built this from a plan, but if you follow the plan, the tea bags tend to settle in like that, it's hard to get a hold of them, so I put these little spacers here to hold the tea bags up. And in the future, I'm only going to make this two inches. This is three inches right now, but that's, that's too long. Uh, the bottom here is, uh, I guess that's bird's eye maple. There's so many different kind of maples. The larger one, this is a six compartment. This too is mahogany and maple, but this one I put antique stain on, cherry stain. Same construction with the brass pins and the stone that I hope never comes off. But this is a six compartment. And they came out really well. The important thing with these is to make sure when you glue up your box that it's square. Because if you don't, you're going to have these lines running crooked. And it, it noticeably shows. So it's all woodworking. Just take your time. And if you have to do it over, well, that's part of the fun. So thanks for watching. Have a good day.